Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get and set up the Cuckoo's IPTV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is going to be super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that app to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader to your device. You can actually get it totally for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll have to go to the search on your device which is right here, open the search bar, and from here we have to start typing the loader. And now, as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you've got the loader, it is not over yet. We'll still have to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, we need to go to the settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon, then we scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Let's open it. And now we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have appeared for us right here. Let's open them. Make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then you'll have to go to install unknown apps. From here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it and there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Finland right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go and open up the loader from the list of apps on your device. And there it is, we open it. And now, after the app has loaded, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, we click on Home, and now, from here, we have to enter a code, which is going to be 504969. So once again, the code is 504969. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes, because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, we'll have to click on Go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you will get even more content about Firesticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, as you can see, the download has already started. 
It shouldn't take too long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. As I have a pretty decent connection, it should not take too long for me. Here we just click on install and wait until Cruise TV gets installed to our Fire Stick or Android TV, depending on the device you are using, of course. And then don't click on Open Yet, instead press on Done, because this way we'll have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So we click on Delete and then Delete once again. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it, and there at the bottom you'll find Ghost TV, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, Ghost TV is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.